Oh man, oh man, oh man. I just bought this uh, mountain bike and I'm already doing modifications to this thing. Uh, so what I'm doing today is I'm actually uh, cutting the seat post. The thing is that th this thing is too long. I want you to think about it long and hard. That's what she said. Don't, don't you dare. And the problem is that if I'm gonna be doing some stream trails, for me to be able to clear the jump and not uh, hit the seat when I come down, I need to be able to lower this a little bit more. And uh, so I need to cut it like about two inches uh, so it can go down a little bit more and, and then I will be, I, I will have enough clearance so when I, when I come down. Uh, so there's a few things that I need, which is um, uh, the saw. I need a measuring tape so I can measure the, the uh, where I'm cutting. Uh, and, and also, uh, I need a, a file so I can smooth out the rough edges once once I cut it because if I don't do that uh, then then the seat is not gonna go in uh, so what I need to do is I have to hold Home Depot to get the file because I don't have that in my garage so let's do that now and then we'll go to the garage and, and make this happen All right let's do this <music> I got a lighter. <laughs> you can never go uh, to Home Depot and just buy one thing. It's always you always end up buying uh, multiple multiple items. I mean, what I do need it though. So. Alright, so we'll, I'll see you back in the house. So that's how I did it. Uh, so now the seat is perfect. I can I can put it down when I need to. I can uh, bring it up all the way if I'm just like going straight in uh, in a regular trail. So I'm happy with how it came out. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.